Hi, Brother Jim reporting here from Red State Watcher once again. We have an ex-Muslim, Hillary got punched in the face by America. That guy has a lot of guts taking a risk like saying he is an ex-Muslim. Stay safe, dude. Owen oh, Schroyer here. We're outside the Trump rally. It just concluded. I'm here with my friend Alex. Tell me about your experience in there. Uh, well, actually, I'm an Arab. I'm an ex-Muslim. Um, and I was for Trump since day one, even though it was Ted Cruz who was the guy who was favorable. But I saw that Donald Trump is the guy who's really going to win. Now, let me say something. Um, if Alex would see this, uh, you are actually more famous than you think. Um, internationally, just not just the United States, and just don't really um, care about those in the media. Just like what I saw like two days ago, the CBS uh, posted um, Infowars as um, fake news. We know that the liberal media is the real fake news because we are here. We just saw about uh, Latinos for Trump, and me myself as an Arab for Trump. Uh, and many people actually are for Trump. He's not a racist. Uh, as a man of color, I know that. If he was, I wouldn't really be for him in no way. And um, the real thing is that I'm going to say something. Probably a lot of people will say um, I'm a, like a conspiracy guy or whatever. That's not true. I don't believe in any conspiracy or whatever. But we know the truth. Think with yourself. Hillary Clinton. They gave her millions of dollars, Saudi Arabia or Saudi in Arabic, Qatar or Qatar, uh, Al Maghreb or Morocco. They gave her millions of dollars. She already has millions of dollars. Now, uh, I know she didn't concede at the speech, you know, but the um, day following, she came out and she looked like she'd been botched by America. I mean, her eyes. And I was thinking to myself, why is she like been stoked off on herself? The reason is that the Democrats now are not just like Republicans. They're not politicians. Like they're not normal people running for an office. No, they're controlled. And call them what you call them, the people who control them. I call them as the globalists. They control Europe now. That's why um, uh, in Astoria or Austria, the, it went to the far left guy. Um, and all the gates are open for the people who will destroy Europe. So those people are uh, giving her a, a very hard time because she lost. And the same thing, I would like to say something too about that. Europe has controlled for many years with social democr um, democracy, socialist democracy they call it. So it's very hard for them to move on or free themselves or gain independence. Uh, Britain did it. Brexit was amazing, but still, you know, it was overruled because of the control. People doesn't really get it that grip on Europe. The same thing in America. I believe Obama is and was all the, uh, the eight years. He was the first, let's say, C to uh, control the White House, control the United States, prepare the way for Hillary to come and take it all and, and, and give the grip to the... Um, globalists to really control this country. Something else. Do they really care about the Muslims and Arabs and the refugees that they bring them here? Nope. Now why do they bring them here? Don't you ask? It's all about demographic change. It's all about changing the votes. It's all about changing everything in this country. And if you speak, oh no, you're a racist. You're with Trump. You're a racist. Uh, you want to build a wall which is border. Every country has it. No sovereignty without border. You're a racist. That's what you, what they call you. Now, um, I live in North Carolina, but I also used to live in Turkey, Iraq, and even Jordan. I've seen many pedophiles and rapist people. You know, because you can actually marry a 12-year-old in these Sharia or Sharia countries. It's the Quran. So. I've seen Excuse also me. the same people who did those terrible crimes right here in North Carolina. I've seen them in Georgia. I've seen them everywhere. You cannot do anything right here about that. You call the police. They say, did, did they do the same things here? No, they didn't. Then you cannot do anything about it. My point is they are already here. They brought them here. And if anyone would say anything, they will call them racist. That's the word. And we've seen the anarchists, the... Uh, the liberals, which I have so much pity for them, that they don't know, they're, they're just puppets. Why are you mad? Why do you want sanctuary city? Just what we saw the treasonous Emmanuel and the treasonous 
uh, de Blasio in New York, uh, I'm pretty sure that de Blasio will do the same thing as uh, Emmanuel or Emmanuel. I also speak Spanish, actually. Um, are they going to give millions of dollars to protect illegal aliens? We did it. We waited for years. We did it the right way. Why are we awarding illegal aliens? Because it's all about changing the vote. Because all, it's all about making the Republicans seem so racist. And the last thing I would like to say, how they call him a misogynist, but not congratulate him for the first campaign in the country, successful campaign to be <coughs> led by women, uh, to have women in his cabinet. And he has so many, I don't like to call them African Americans. They're Americans, just like any Americans. Black Americans, we're proud of them. We're proud of brown Americans. We're proud of all colors. And the real solution, I think, to get behind Trump, to forget about race, race, uh, race, color, all of these things, to look at America, to fix America, to protect America. And just um, minutes ago, Trump said, a lot of people's gonna come in. We're not gonna close everything, but they're gonna come legally. We're gonna bring people who love this country, who love the people of this country. So that's the whole deal. But again, I must tell you that these media, as they call them, uh, or liberal media, CBS, uh, CNN, and all the bull hockey or bull crap, MSM. these channels are controlled. These channels are paid. These channels belong to people. They're not, they lost all creativity the following the, the election. You saw that, the people saw that, Alex saw that. And they have ner the nerve to call him fake news. So, of course, they're going to say all these things, the New York Times and all of these people. Of, of course, they're going to talk like that about Trump. I would like to say to President-elect that he um, should go on. He should lead us into prosperity uh, in America first. And we're all behind him. Uh, many people from many backgrounds, millions of Americans. And uh, also, North Carolina, you know that our governor Pat McCrory conceded to the liberal treasonist Roy Cooper. He's a terrible, terrible guy. That's right. But we know that Orange County and Durham County, massive fraud. We know about that. Don't tell me that Republicans control the polls or whatever, control the election. <laughs> That's what I believe. You're free to believe what you want. I certainly hope, as a thank you to Pat McCrory, the best governor we ever had in this right. state, uh, to put him in uh, uh, Mr. Trump new cabinet uh, tomorrow he said that he will meet him in New York please Mr. Trump um, put him in the new cabinet he really deserved that he will serve all the people and that's really the thing that we know now that people know telling the liberal media people are not brainwashed anymore uh, we're not just living whatever life you think not caring no we know we know everything and by the way we're not the alt-right we're not republicans democrats whatever we're just pissed off americans who gonna take the country back now there's a man that understands what's going on so sorry liberal media but your brainwashing isn't working worldwide and hillary clinton looks like she just got punched in the face by america very wise man. Uh, I really enjoy. Oh, enjoy you're here. We're outside the Trump rally. It just let, concluded. Let I'm just here with my friend. Picture of him. For the first. There we go. Very wise man. Uh, we need to pray for him and others uh, like this. Um, you know, the answer is to wake up. But at the same time, we have to not only wake up to the fact that we've been lied to. Uh, we need to wake up to true salvation for the life after this life, after we are cut off from this land, as the Bible says. <clears throat> Most of the time, the Bible does not talk about uh, that we die. It talks about that we are cut off, which is a term for death that we use. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, and the reason why is because we don't ever die. Well, only our flesh and blood dies. So, you know, the thing of it is, is that, praise God, that he came out of being an, uh, an ex-Muslim. He is wise to many things about the, the uh, globalists and all that things and info wars. And, you know, and I don't put down Alex Jones or anything or others that teach against, you know, the global elites because I do it as well. But at the same time, we have to remember that 
that's not just the answer. The answer is salvation. The answer is that this church age is going to end and the body of Christ is going up for the rapture. That we must get ready. We must believe in Jesus Christ who is the Son of God. That John, and we must believe in John 3, 16, that God so, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We must believe that we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. And that Donald Trump has been given to the world, not just America, to have literally a fundamental change. Obama professed that he would give fundamental change, but he serves Satan. He serves mammon. And he tried to bring fundamental change, and he did somewhat. That's right. That was the oppression. As Isaiah 45, 7 says, that God creates peace and evil. And this is the thing that most people, believers, including mo many Christians, especially non-believers, do not understand about God, how he tests us. And we are here to be tested for our faith. I form the light, God says, which is righteousness, and create darkness, which is evil. I make peace, and I create evil. You see, he defines it for you. I, the Lord, do all these things. And why? Because I just answered you. So that you can be tested for your faith. For Hebrews eleven six 6 says, We cannot please him without faith. You see? So I pray that this man comes to the faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I praise the Lord that he came out of being a Muslim and he's woken up. It's, it's fantastic. And the same thing can happen with any of the lesbian, gays, bisexuals, transgender, and mafia. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We don't go out shooting people or, or hurting people. Okay? That is not the way of a Christ follower or Christian. Okay? So, anyway, I just want to share this wonderful... A story about this man who came to light and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you for listening and God well, Europe now that's why um, uh, in Astoria or Austria the it went to the far left guy um, and all the gates are open for the people who will destroy Europe so those people are uh, giving her a, a very hard time because she lost. And the same thing, I would like to say something too about that. Europe has controlled for many years with social democra um, democracy, socialist democracy they call it. So it's very hard for them to move on or free themselves or gain independence. Uh, Britain did it, Brexit was amazing, but- I'm here with my friend Alex. Tell me about your experience in there. Uh, well, actually I'm an Arab. I'm an ex-Muslim, um, and I was for Trump since day one, even though it was Ted Cruz who was the guy who was favorable. But I saw that Donald Trump is the guy who's really going to win. Now, let me say something. Um, if Alex would see this, um, you are actually more famous than you think um, internationally, just not just the United States, and just don't really... Um, care about those in the media just like what i saw like two days ago this cbs uh posted um in fours as Brother Jim reporting here from Red State Watcher once again. We have an ex-Muslim. Hillary got punched in the face by America. That guy has a lot of guts taking a risk like saying he is an ex-Muslim. Stay safe, dude. Owen Schroyer here. We're outside the Trump rally. It just concluded on... Um, fake news. 
we know that the liberal media is the real fake news because we are here. We just saw about uh, Latinos for Trump and me, myself, as an Arab for Trump. Uh, and many people actually are for Trump. He's not a racist. Uh, as a man of color, I know that. If he was, I wouldn't really be for him in no way. And uh, the real thing is that I'm going to say something. Probably a lot of people will say um, I'm a, like a conspiracy guy or whatever. That's not true. I don't believe in any conspiracy or whatever. But we know the truth. Think with yourself. Hillary Clinton. They gave her millions of dollars, Saudi Arabia or Saudi in Arabic, Qatar or Qatar, uh, Al Maghreb or Morocco. They gave her millions of dollars. She already has millions of dollars. Now, uh, I know she didn't concede at the speech, you know, but the um, day following, she came out and she looked like she'd been botched by America. I mean, her eyes. And I was thinking to myself, why is she like been stoked off on herself? The reason is that the Democrats now are not just like Republicans. They're not politicians. Like they're not normal people running for an office. No, they're controlled. And call them what you call them, the people who control them. I call them as the globalists. They control.